looks good. Scuttling in. What a beauty. Jeffrey Lopes is it Franco. That's Quill. Holmes again to Davis. Fenwick on the dummy run. This is Ray Gravel. Gravel to Davis. Out to JJ Williams. Williams the kick pass. Brian Williams. Back goes Gary Sear. The referee decided that it was a trip. Boom. McKechnie restarts. In goes Alan Martin. Fed out from Bush. Loveridge. Derry Holmes beaten by it. JJ back there. Half of New Zealand with him. They're only 10 metres from the Welsh line. Along to Bruce. Now it's Osborne. Osborne with a kick for Stu Wilson. Can Stu Wilson get the touch? He's going to be there first. What a try. That's Stu Wilson. Must have been one of the best players of his of his era, electric pace, uh, great judgment of the game. His try was uh, was just just magic, and it set the scene. Then they started to come back after that, and uh, we had to weather a ten-minute storm. Holmes waits for. Will it be Quinnell who gives him the feed? No, it was Squire. Holmes, big strong lad, but in real trouble there from Leicester Rutledge. Oh, can the All Blacks win this one? But there's a Welsh body over the top. Pickney from the 22. And he's got it over the Dutch judges. How do we look at each other? Murphy's whistle goes for half time. And it's very delicately poised. Wales ahead by 12 points to seven. Graham Price, regarded by most rugby folk as the best tight head in the world, is on this side of the front row for Wales. That's Loveridge, got it away well, well to Osborne. Osborne to Stu Wilson. Wilson to McKechnie. McKechnie, can he get to the ball first? Clive Reese beat him to it by a couple of feet. Murray, who is ready to take a quick throw if the forwards have been ready. Graham Murray, their number seven, who evolved that kind of tactic that beat France in the second test in 77. Very bright young captain, tactically aware. This is Dalton. Got there by Holmes, then by Charlie Falconer. Hayden in, now it's Loveridge. Out to Bruce, to Robertson. Creeping up in front, offside. McKechnie, straight and true, and no problems. Drive on by Terry Holmes. Holmes, can he make the line? What a run this is from that line out. It's out there to J.J. Williams. J.J. Great tackle there by Graham Murray. But it's a penalty for not releasing. That really was Welsh inventiveness and adventurism. Two very big packs here. Both of them averaging about 15, 7 and 15, 8. New Zealanders marginally heavier. But uh, Wales with the technique as Jeff Squires bets up. Gives it to J.J. Williams. J.J. kicking up towards the line. And that was a nippy bit of work there by Brian McKechnie. But JJ showing that he's still pretty quick, even with all that elastoplast on. Holmes waits for Quinnell to give him the feed, but in fact, uh, Squire was robbed there by Graham Moody. However, it's out there to Gravel. Little kick through for JJ Williams. Knocked forward. Touchdown there by Loveridge. But Wales have won a crucial ball out to Davis. Gravel! Bring her up to halfway, looking for support from Fenwick. Attack and counter-attack here. Wales winning a crucial ball and they've won another one. Now it's Davis. Davis to Clive Rees. Clive Rees, can he go past his man? Just knocked into touch there by young McKechnie. You know, the game was going uh, our way. It was about uh, six or seven minutes to go. Uh, then from midfield, I think there was a, a long raking kick just which went into touch just outside our 22, 25 and um, it was it was our throw I think there was uh, it was thrown in but it was called again and, and on the second call um, I can remember standing opposite Andy Hayden and as the ball came in he jumped what appeared to be a jump anyway he jumped and landed on the floor and so did 
Frank Oliver came out and so did Bill Bush. Well, I jumped as well because the ball was called for Jeff Wheel. I jumped to cover him. And most probably people thought that I, I had elbowed him or pushed him out. And I thought, in my mind, that Jeff Squire was behind me. I'd whacked him and he'd, he'd gone out of the line out. And then the referee penalised Jeff for, uh, for leaning on. But this had been happening all through the game, and he hadn't penalised either before that. And it was just a, a refereeing thing, I suppose. And, um, and the rest is history. Brian McKechnie kicked the, kicked the penalty. It was, I mean, two, three minutes left to go by that time, and game over, and, uh, and we lost. Put the All Blacks ahead by 15 points to 12, and I make it that we're virtually into...